Okay, just going to do a demonstration on using our sun and hone. First off, you go to the tool room and you get the uh, sunning, the honing kit. In this case, I've got the inch and a quarter honing kit and all the pieces that go with it. Adapter sleeve, uh, the metric, the screw that retains it is metric. It's a six six millimeter. So how this works is there's a little lever down inside here. You can see this lever. When I step on it, when I step on the lever down at the bottom here, the lever goes in and out. So there's a push rod in there that connects with the push rod on the stone. And when I push this rod in and out, if I can get at it here, you should be able to see this stone on the surface coming up or going back down. It goes in and out as I step on the lever. So how it works is there's a little notch in the side of that and there's also a notch in the side of this tool and they work like this. So they push and pull the honing stone back and forth. It's also possible to hook them up this way and it can push it out which will cause the stone to go out but then it'll jam on the part. So we have to make sure that we hook it this way so that we can release the pressure on it. Uh, we have an adapter sleeve that fits on here, and in the end we need to line it up with the screw that goes in, in the, uh, that spot there. So I start out with my uh, little push rod thing sticking out, and I want to make sure I hook it in behind that. Uh, and i got to go all the way around once here. screw out and see that I get it happen there. Somebody's jam something here. Alright, so now as I wind this out, the little slide comes in and pushes the stone out. When I step on the lever, you see the stone comes out. When I release it, the stone should go back down. So we have a truing sleeve that we can set up to make sure that it cuts parallel, runs against the shoe on the back, it's fixed. We can power and start it. We need lots of lots of oil. When I step on the pedal, it causes it to go around. The way I like to do it is to set it up with my foot holding the pedal down and bring, it, bring, this up, bring the stone out until I start to get a little bit of friction. And that way when I release it, it's loose. So when I actually start the machine and step on the pedal, it's not going to pull it out of my hand. So. So you get lots of oil on there, and then you do one side, and then the other. Now, if you're actually going to do your part, so by ro rotating it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you get a chance to keep it cutting parallel and straight. If you're going to hone your part out, you've left maybe two or three thou in it for honing, and you're going to measure it lots back and forth, we add just a little bit more pressure. The, this, got, this gauge used to be able to uh, indicate how much um, pressure was going on against the, the stone for, for cutting. It doesn't seem to work anymore, so we don't, we don't use that. So it's just a, it's a little bit of trial and error, so you just have to be careful with it. I'm going to back that off just a little bit. It seems a little bit tight. So I'll just, just cutting now nicely. Stop it. The other side. So when you do your, when you're actually honing your part, you just have to check it lots, and that's it.